Okay. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but um, just wanted to show off the Baofeng collection here. And these are all UV5Rs, as you can see, with the 3800 milliamp hour capacity, capacity battery pack, which compared to the regular battery pack, there's a difference in size. So, if you ask me, the extended capacity, which is 3800 milliamp hours over 1800 milliamp hours, um, makes the radio look makes the radio look a little more professional. Um, gives a little bit more length and uh, makes a little look, makes it look a little less like a toy. Now there's a demonstration of one of the first things I was going to talk about, and that's intermod, but we will get to that in a second. So let's give me a second here to put this battery back on. We have here no less than nine Baofeng UV5Rs. Two red, one yellow, and two, four, six black. Now this one right here is a previous generation one. And all these other ones are of the same generation and were purchased within about 90 days of each other. This one is a little bit older and has a little bit different characteristics least with the uh, menu um, function and uh, the signal strength or our SSI indicator the S meter over here on the left uh, with this radio see if I can give you a demonstration here so, this is a P25 um, so much intermod today. The band's open a little bit. This is a P25 control channel uh, from about 50-60 miles away. 152-7125. Now as you can see it's showing that as full scale. Pager, which I'm sure is actually full scale. So let's go to a frequency that might not have anything on it. Now the other thing about the old school version of this radio, and I really wish the focus would work, but of course it won't, is when you go into the menu, oh god that's terrible, and you go to the tone selection, no matter where you are, say we're at 192.8, and you go to menu, and you go to change it, it starts you back at the bottom, 67.0, and then 254.1. So, on the newer generation radios, which We'll use the yellow one since it's the newest one. Not only does the signal strength indicator actually work as opposed to just showing a full signal or nothing, which to give you an example we'll go back to 152.7, oops, 152.7125. You can see, maybe you can't see, but that's actually giving me an indication as to the signal strength and it's moving around. So the older radios don't really give you an S meter, but the new ones do, which is actually quite nice. And just for comparison's sake, we'll see if now oh, the pager's not transmitting. Let's try one. So that's full scale, as you can tell. And that's just down the street, and it's running over a kilowatt. And it's really not that far away 
from this transmitter on 152.7125 is the very high power pager transmitter on 152.69 and there's also one on 152.63 and 152.120 152.0075 and a couple other frequencies like uh, 158. Dot 7158.1 and 157.950. So the new generation of UV5Rs are they're improved. They've actually made some changes, which is cool. Um, another difference is the size of the font on the um, keypad, which you also can't really tell because the focus on this is terrible, but the numbers are a little bit bigger on these new ones compared to the old one. This is a new one and this is an older one. And this is a new one and this is an older one. So we've got three generations of UV5R here. We've got first generation, second generation, and third generation. So that's just the first part of our little discussion of this wonderful little radio. Um, apart from being very broadbanded, sorry, that's the cat making that noise. The uh, radio comes with one of two different uh, stock antennas. As you can see, we've got this guy, which claims to be 136 to 174 and 400 to 520. I know you can't see that, but that's the antenna. It says UV antenna on one side and Baofeng on the other. And uh, then they ship with this one. And there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason as to which radio comes with which antenna. I've gotten different antennas from the same vendor. So this one also says Baofeng and U-V antenna on the other side. It's got the regular SMA uh, F or reverse F or whatever you want to call it connector that we're so familiar with now. So in addition to the stock antenna, uh, we've got a couple aftermarket antennas we want to look at here. And I was hoping that, let's see if they're still on statewide EMS, which is 155205. 55205. Now this is a public safety frequency. I'm not going to be transmitting on it. It's just part of the demonstration for the uh, antenna. If they're not back on there, we'll use a different frequency. But um, the first antenna, let's just enter mod. First antenna we want to look at is this no-name brand. Um, it's a fairly long antenna, and I've got two different ones of these. And they're about the same length. The only difference is, let's see if I can get some better lighting there. The only difference is the bottom like that. With this one, it's a little bit longer and it's got these uh, grooves for a better grip here on the bottom. But otherwise, it looks to be the same. And, uh, you know, this one's maybe, uh, maybe a centimeter longer, if that. Um, otherwise, they seem very similar. They've got a little bit of a, it gets a little narrower here. And uh, they're sold as being dual band, uh, 2 meter and 440. So I know that's a rough approximation, maybe 140 to 150 and uh, 440 to 450 or 440 to 460, something like that. Um, so I've got uh, two of these ones, which are a little bit shinier on the surface. I don't know if you can tell that and three of these guys which have a dull surface. Also have a diamond RH701 which says right there 440 or 144 and 430 megahertz and wideband receiving coverage made in Japan diamond RH701 which is closer in length to the stock skinny antenna for the Baofeng. And then I've got a Chinese clone of the RH701 called the Retech RHA701. And we'll just look at those next to each other. They're basically the same length. And they look 
very similar. So these antennas, these long ones, that you know, they're about 18 inches, maybe a little bit shorter, maybe a little bit longer uh, in length, are very common on eBay, and they're really cheap. So they actually work pretty well for what they are, and um, it can't hurt to pick a couple up, especially if you've got a bunch of these radios. So to compare to that, we've got a couple other antennas here. Um, these, sorry, we've got so many radios. These two are by the Smiley Antenna Company. I'm not sure if you're familiar with them or not. They're based in California, and uh, I've been using their products for the better part of 15 years. And uh, they make really high-quality antennas, and uh, they're built to last. So uh, these antennas are called the Slim Duck, and uh, it's about 12 inches long and they're tuned for 150 megahertz now they claim uh, the tuning frequency is a center frequency of operation plus or minus 5 megahertz so an antenna cut for 150.0 is going to give you the same performance at 145 as it will at 155 which is perfect for my purposes on VHF I want to talk on 2 meters and I want to talk on the MERS or MURS frequencies, and I want to listen to public safety frequencies in the 150 to 162 megahertz range. So an antenna tuned for 145 to 155 is perfect. And these antennas, I've got two of them here, on each on EUV5R. You can order it with the correct SMAF connector, and it even comes with a little rubber gasket to install to keep that nice and snug. So. It's a pretty good looking uh, you know, piece of uh, kit here. The antenna, at least this version, and they sell a bunch of different versions of this. There's a thicker version that's a little less uh, wobbly that they sell. It's a couple inches shorter. And um, there's a longer version that's tuned for 5 8 wave. That's a couple inches longer. And that's this one right here is also tuned for 150. So the nice thing about the Smiley antennas is they come with a proprietary connector so you can swap their antennas out without having to actually take this off very quickly. So we'll put the 5 8 wave on there. Now I've used the 146.25 version of this antenna for about 15 years and it's been abused, it's been thrown in backpacks and bent and it's gotten wet it's actually been submerged and it still works. I've got it connected to one of my scanners right now. But, um, 205, yeah, I guess they're not on there anymore. There was a couple of helicopters talking to each other on uh, the statewide EMS frequency, which here in Virginia is 155.205. So I was hoping to use them for my demonstration here, but we're going to have to use something else. So, the Smiley antennas are a little bit more money. Um, I believe the Slim Duck, which is the two that I have here, I believe those are about $19.95 or $20, bucks, and the 5 8 wave is a little bit more. Um, there's one more Smiley antenna I wanted to show you, and that's the uh, telescopic 5 8 wave. So, this antenna is also tuned for 146.25, which is the band center according to Smiley, and I mean that makes sense because you're not talking, generally you're not going to be talking FM, you know, down at 144.2 or something like that in the, you know, sideband and CW portions of 2 meters. So it makes sense to tune the antenna to the higher part of 2 meters. Now if you're in Europe where 2 meters is 144 to 146, it still applies because the bandwidth on these things is pretty nice. So when it's collapsed like this, it's, according to Smiley, a quarter wave. And even like that, this is kind of unwieldy. But if you extend it all the way, it becomes significantly more unwieldy <laughs> and there's some visible strain on the connector there so for a radio like this 
this antenna might be a little much just due to the weight and the size of this thing it might be a little much but it works really well on a heftier radio which I happen to have one I'll grab that too just for demonstration's sake and that radio is a Motorola MTS 2000 VHF model so my usual setup is to put the 5 8 wave on the Motorola like that and uh, this is my primary radio the Motorola mainly due to the durability of the radio let's see if I can get stable IDMS on here did I not program it? Okay, there it is. So we'll leave that on statewide EMS in case those helicopters come back on. These Motorola rigs are great. A little bit more expensive, or a lot more expensive, depending on how you look at it. But, you know, for the price of one of these, you can get five or ten of these. But this is what's going to work day in and day out because it's designed for the abuse of public service. So this concludes part one of this video. We're going to do a part two with a little bit more comparison of the various antennas, at least on receive.